Hi guys, it's Raya. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing a little haul of things that I got using a proxy from Korea. Um, the proxy that I used is Korea Buy and Ship. This isn't <laughs> sponsored by them in any way. I just used their service and I did enjoy it. Um, I ordered things from 10x10 10 10 Korea and I'm pretty sure that I got these popcorn game sleeves directly from popcorn games. Pretty sure. <laughs> but most of it is card sleeves, little binders, gay poppy type related things, but there's a couple things that aren't. So I'm going to go through those first. Okay, so first and what I'm kind of most excited about <laughs> is this cute little wireless keyboard. Oh, and it came with batteries, which I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to ship. So thank you for sending this to me still. <laughs> But it is this adorable little Snoopy keyboard. It is the cutest thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with it. My current keyboard, um, because I am studying Korean, has stickers on it that I made that have the alphabet but then also Hangul on it so that I can type in Korean when I need to. And the stickers are like really faded and gross and it's just not the nicest keyboard overall. Um, but obviously because I bought this keyboard from Korea, it has everything on it that I need already and it is so cute. Okay, and then last for not K-pop and definitely very random things, I got this um, <laughs> Chinchik mouse pad because it's phenomenal. Look at him. It is just a super basic <laughs> cute little mouse pad. And to be honest, I didn't need a new one or another one, but it was like 3,000 won or something like that. And it is precious. <laughs> okay, and then I got quite a few <laughs> new binders today. Um, I got one more from Luca Lab that isn't these, but I got these cute little fruit ones. This one did come in a box, but I've just already taken it out because I wanted to look at it. So these are what Luca Lab intends to be like little diary planners. So they come with fills. So there's just the one to match the cover and then one for the back. And then the rest are just grid fills. But this is the pineapple one. They all have the same little pros <laughs> here on the front. It's quite interesting. Um, one cannot help but be in awe when he contemplates the mysteries of eternity, of life, of the marvelous structure of reality. It is enough that it is enough if one tries merely to comprehend a little of this mystery every day. Never lose a holy curiosity, uh, which is an interesting thing to decide to print on a planner. But <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> And then they all have cute little designs on the inside. So the inside of this one is like a tin of pineapple rings. And it is so cute. One thing to note about these <laughs> is that they are smaller, I think, than a regular binder. If you saw my last storing photo cards video, I said that the Amifa, um one pocket pages and like bigger pages don't fit in the D binders and it is the exact same situation here. So a Mifa four pocket pages do fit and I know this because that's why I took this one out of the box to test this. They do fit but it is if you can see ever so close like a little bit too close for my liking to be honest with you. And then the bigger pages, like this one pocket. 
just definitely <laughs> don't fit the same as that Beyond binder, but I have other binders that stuff like this will fit in, so that's perfectly fine. And I am just going to use these binders purely for photo cards. And even though these do fit fairly, I guess one could say perfectly <laughs> fit, um, I did order some smaller Beyond D and a different brand for pockets to try as well that are a little bit smaller than the Amifa ones. And then the rings are also quite a bit smaller than the Beyond D rings. I don't even know a better way to show that. <laughs> But these are quite small binders. They're not made to be binders, which is why, but they work. If you can kind of, yeah, I think that helps better to see how. The size is different. And the next one I got was blueberry. And then here's just a little sticker that was on the box if you're interested in the specs and sizing and whatnot. I think this one might be my favorite, maybe. I think I like the simplicity of the really light yellow beige color. <laughs> but the inserts are the same as the front and back cover. And then the inside is <laughs> the very dim. And then the last one is Pink Peach. And the inserts are the same. This one is a little bit dirty up here, but I'll see if I can get that off. It's kind of no big deal if I can't. And the inside is like peach juice boxes and apple juice, I guess. Unless that's a different peach, but it kind of looks like an apple. I'm assuming it's a peach actually it makes more sense, doesn't it? <laughs> But I adore these little binders. I think they're the cutest things. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to use them. Last on Luca Lab things, I did get one of the composition binders. Mine has come quite bent, so we'll see if we can flatten that out. Although I didn't realize until after I bought it, which is why I have a PVC cover for it, which I think won't fit. We'll try it, but I'm pretty sure it won't. Is that there are two different types of these. This one is the 19. Oh, which means that the rings are like 19 mils um, and it's technically the small one um, which I didn't know and I think they were sold out of the normal size which is why I didn't realize but this one is smaller than some other composition Luca Lab binders you might have seen on other people's channels Here it is. There's the cute little heart on the front. I did really want the black one, but they were out of stock, so I grabbed the blue. And then here it is on the inside. It's all white, and the rings are white. Okay, I literally just put it all away, but I put my Tempest stuff back out to do a little size test again. Definitely too small for bigger inclusions, but will be just fine for photo cards. Okay, and then for those binders, here are the PVC covers I was talking about on my white desk. They look yellow and kind of grody, but <laughs> love that. I'm assuming this one will be too big. I'm pretty sure it's for the actual regular sized, regular width. I guess, composition binder, which I do want to get in the future, so I can keep it. Oh, this is backwards, love that for me. I don't think it'll fit anyway. Oh my god, it does fit. Oh, now it's on backwards. Okay, hold on. Okay, well, it actually does fit. 
Like, I can see that it would definitely fit the bigger one as well. I think? Maybe? Either way, it fits, and I did not expect that. So, there you go. <laughs> okay, awesome. Composition book with PVC cover, and I'll put these ones on the other ones. I will leave the peach one because I'll try and get that mark off later. And sticking to A5 mini binders, here are all of the pages and things that I got. Okay, so I got six packs of the D&D photo card sleeves, the four pocket ones, just to try them because I've never actually tried the D&D ones and I figured they'd be nice and small <laughs> for those Luca Lab binders. Okay, so these are so four pocket pages and they are double-sided which means there's a pocket on both sides so when you double side your cards they won't be touching each other and then i got a bunch of other pages from the brand one of this <laughs> one on one <laughs> so i got four packs of four pockets two packs of one pocket and one pack of two pockets this way <laughs> So the one pockets are honestly super comparable to the Beyond D. So this one is the Beyond D and this one is the one of this. Honestly, virtually ident identical. <laughs> so these ones are also double-sided, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> virtually identical <laughs> and then here is the info on the size of all of the pages that they offer if you are interested okay and then i also got these two collect books i guess you would call them when they're this little um they are from bnd so they are a little pvc cover binder have six rings just very squashed and it comes with 30 of these little two pocket pages okay so Hyongsop is gonna be my <laughs> little tester all day I guess and there we go so you can fit 60 PCs in here I guess 120 if you double-sided them but these these pockets aren't double-sided so you'd have to insert them both in through the front if you wanted to do that but I thought that they were just super cute. <laughs> Be free. And you can take out and replace the polo picture in the front or just add something to the Polaroid. And I really like them and I wanted to try them out because I don't have anything like this at the moment. I was thinking one of them for my Twice cards and then one of them for other girl group cards that I have that I don't collect for. But I think it'd be cute if I decorate them all cute. And also for these, I got two little refill packs. So there's 10 in each of a little one pocket page. I definitely love how flat this lays and how like this is nowhere near the cards. I got a couple PVC um, cover binders like this just off of Amazon when I was first looking into A5 binders and they do not want to sit flat and they are an absolute horror to work with so I don't use them. Okay next I got another Beyond the A5 wide binder and a bunch of refills. I do already have one of these binders already which you see on my channel but I did want to get another one for all of my extra and CT cards. I honestly don't think I ordered this many refills, <laughs> but
but maybe I did. I don't think I ordered this many of that one. And so we have three of the six pockets, which are just the photo card pages. I'm not gonna, there we go. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother taking them out again. We see these ones all the time. Then I have two different types of two pockets. So I have two of this one. And for some reason, five of this one. I never would have ordered five of this one, I don't think. So I think something happened there, possibly. Who knows? Then I have two packs of these four pocket pages, but for bigger inclusions. <laughs> like, bigger inclusions. <laughs> and then two packs of one pocket pages. So I'm definitely stocked up on sleeves for these binders now. And then the last thing for binders and sleeves is this. I'm just going to have to zoom out for it. Um, so I didn't know this binder was coming when I bought these sleeves. Um, <laughs> absolutely no idea. It says there's favourite things on it. And it is a <laughs> three ring A4 binder. Um, no idea. But I did order <laughs> these four pocket pages. Um, so... I guess the binder came with them, maybe? And I didn't read the listing, who knows? But I did order these pages because I am constantly trying out different <laughs> four pocket pages for A4 binders for postcards. Okay, the very last today we have sleeves. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I heard really good things about Popcorn Games sleeves and so I really wanted to try them. Um, so I got a bunch of this size, which is 63 and a half by 88 millimeters, which is the size that is good for nine pocket pages. And then I got some ones for the mini binders to try out. Um, they have a, a bunch of different sizes, like all the way up to like ones for like, um, eight pocket cards, stuff like that. <laughs> but for those smaller Beyond D pages and stuff where I can't use this size of sleeve, I wanted to try out some different sizes. I assumed that this size would be the size that I needed, but I got one pack of this one just to make sure I was correct, but I'll still use these as well. So for all of them, I got the hard type. So they do a soft sleeve and a hard sleeve. Hard sleeve is more comparable to like a dragon shield type sleeve. And then a soft sleeve is like those super bendy, super soft. <laughs> ones we take our good friend comes up again so this is the 63.5 by 88 mil sleeve okay and then here's a dragon shield sleeve it is a dragon shield white sleeve but it'll be the same <laughs> and they are the same width just this one is a little tiny bit shorter and i'm really happy with the quality of these sleeves and how nice and rigid they are. So I'm really glad that I got <laughs> a lot of these. I'll be using them and I'll be getting more for sure. These packs of sleeves are super, super inexpensive. Um, they're literally like, I think it was 1500 or 1100 one. Somewhere like around about a dollar, a dollar something a pack, which is Super, super insane and super affordable considering how good quality they are, but especially the amount that I bought, these aren't light, so they definitely do add a hefty amount to the shipping total, which for this package for me was absolutely not cheap. <laughs> but this is the 57.5 by 89 millimeter size, which is coming up close to a perfect fit it's a little bit long on the bottom but that doesn't really matter for the bnt pages so as you can see he fits in there just fine it's not a snug fit or anything there might be another size that i can look into if i am looking for a snug fit but i think that that should be fine he's not moving around at all and so i'm pretty happy with these and they are super clear, super, super, super clear. Then this is the last size, the 56 by 87. So again, a super 
nice tight fit. These would definitely work really well as an inner sleeve. So I think I'll definitely be using them for that. Okay, so that was all that I had for today. Thank you so much for watching this little supplies and miscellaneous items haul. I really hope that you enjoyed. Please, 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 please stay safe. And I'll see you in my next video. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, good. Papa, what's up? I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor